hello uh, everyone uh, welcome to the uh, channel so uh, in this series we are going to explain uh, cover the selenium exception so today we are, we are going to cover uh, selenium exception related to the alert so in this alert exception we will get unhandle alert exception and no alert present exception so um, do watch this uh, uh, total, uh, uh, full video to understand uh, these two exception and also I'm going to cover one uh, exception will come when we try to uh, try to access alert or perform any action on alert is element not interactable exception uh, element not in interactable or uh, the dialog box of the alert is not uh, capable of handling this event. Okay, so do subscribe the channel uh, to get uh, um, a related video of Selenium exception and uh, uh, videos related to the automation. Okay. So the key solution points uh, here I have listed over here. Once I'm uh, covering the this video, you will get the understand like uh, why it's important to get uh, create one hour uh, one method. So is alert present because uh, Selenium doesn't provide any inbuilt method to check the alert is present on in the web page or not. So we we have to create our own method and to handle this uh, exception correctly, uh, how we are going to use catch and drive block. So that I'm going to cover. Okay, so get started. So first I will show you like uh, when we will get uh, uh, each type of this exception and uh, how we can just um, solve this. Okay, so in this uh, program what I will do, I have did one navigated to the one web page where uh, we will see the one alert. So to get alert, uh, I'm clicking on one uh, alert button. Okay, once that button is coming, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, perform one action on uh, web driver or, or, or on that page. So the action is to get a title or any action click action or any action we perform on the web page. So uh, it's look like uh, we are just clicking on the page and alert is coming uh, still uh, we are going to the uh, performing any action. So uh, this is we, we are looking like is a normal step. Okay, so we will see like what uh, this getting uh, executed correctly or we will get any error or not okay so i have just launched this uh, program so the site is getting launched and here uh, is the alert so you, you have seen the in the flash of second one alert is coming okay and it is gone okay so in the uh, output section we will check like what uh, output we will got or any exception will got so uh, you can see over here so we got one uh, alert uh, sorry exception is that unhandle alert exception okay unexpected alert open so they they have given this alert is open okay so why this is coming so we can track uh, the record so at the end we will get that at alert exception uh, this uh, java class in that at the line 30 we will uh, we have encountered this error so at the line 30 what we have <coughs> is we are going uh, we are accessing some uh, web uh, element from that web page okay so uh, when we are accessing that element when uh, we we got one uh, alert okay once we click on that alert we got an alert and when alert is uh, open uh, in the web page so uh, at that time uh, we are we try to access this page so the alert uh, concept of alert is when we get any alert on the page so uh, what it will do the program it will uh, move our focus to this page alert okay and it will not allow us to uh, perform any action on this page see we are not able to perform any action over here once alert is gone we are able to perform the action over here okay so the functionality of, of alert is to get focus uh, towards that alert of the user okay so uh, we get to know that uh, when alert is present on the web page we are not able to access any element on the page so what we will do we will handle that alert so how handle how to handle that alert is to switch to that alert window web driver switch to alert and accept that alert or dismiss that alert so you can get that method like uh, accept dismiss okay all this related method or send keys all these met related methods we will uh, get over here once you uh, click a dot and uh, press control shift okay so once we accept that alert what will happen we will see okay so we are uh, now clicking on the alert alert is coming 
okay and we are uh, accepting that alert and then uh, performing the action on web page okay so this time alert is coming we are performing the action okay so it uh, the flow is navigated to the next page okay so we will get no exception over here and we will get the page title over here okay so i'm going to explain you the second type of uh, exception is when uh, there is no suppose the, uh, we have performed the action on uh, alert and alert is gone now but still after that we are performing any action uh, on alert okay so uh, suppose alert is not present or it is uh, by by any chance it is not coming on the web page and still we are performing any action on the alert so at that time what happen we will see okay so after that accept the alert is gone and still after that we are performing uh, some action on the alert so so what will happen so now it is clicking on the web page uh, the alert is gone and we will check the output so we will get an exception so no alert present exception no such alert so where where it is coming it is coming on 29th line okay so what is that so this is one so uh, the, uh, there is no alert on the web page and still we are performing an action so what we will do we will move that action to upper before before that okay and now we will see what happen so uh, i will just explain you there are like some type of uh, alerts where it is asked for uh, okay button or okay and cancel button or some alert what what will they they also ask you one text field uh, where you can enter your some information like suppose they ask or yes no or your your comment okay so that time you can use send keys to perform the action on that uh, to write in in that alert so uh, there is no send keys or any option to write on the uh, alert and still we are uh, writing something try to writing something on alert so that time what we will get we will get alert not interactable exception okay so uh, the user dialog does not have input box okay so therefore it is coming so um, we have seen all these three type of the alert okay <clears throat> and friends uh, if you want more information on this alert i have uh, i have written my one blog so i will just put uh, post one uh, query over here okay so on the on that blog uh, i have explained uh, everything in the written so you can uh, view that blog also i will just uh, uh, give a link in the uh, description section okay so now uh, the most important part is how to handle this one uh, with with the correct methods okay so with the try catch block so i will just comment this this part and it's i uncomment the uh, try catch block so what i have did here uh, on the click event the alert is uh, opened okay and then what i i have did i, I have handled that alert with one method is is called as is alert present okay if alert is present it will handle that one if not present it will just return false and you can perform the action on that false event and then uh, our regular action on the web page and suppose uh, by default any uh, other <clears throat> exception is coming or sorry uh, alert is coming then it uh, we will, we can catch that uh, alert exception in this catch block and the over this one is alert present uh, method over here so what i have did i have assigned one this alert to the one alert uh, variable and i have performed the action dot okay dot get text so get the uh, alert text and uh, alert dot accept okay so if alert is present it will uh, perform this action if not present it will throw a catch block or return then false block okay so i will just uh, run this block so uh, you can find this uh, code in the description section also and i will also update one uh, git link over there you can find this code okay so see it has handled the exception and gone to the next page and we got no exception Okay friends thank you for the watching please subscribe my channel to get more update on the automation part and you can ask your queries uh, in the description uh, or the comment section okay and uh, please do visit my blog thank you